life. Yes? If you don't have life, you're not a human. Jesus is carrying and Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus has proved to you and everybody that he's risen from the dead. That Jesus has the power over the dead and the grave. So I don't see the need. There was no, there was no need for Muhammad, number one, number two. I would rather go with what the people that walked and talked to Jesus said. Because Islam and Muslim and Muhammad that came 600 years after. So if I want, so if I want to ask you, if I want to know about you, I come and talk to you. I don't go to that person or that person or that person. Or I can talk about to talk to your son or your husband, the people that know you. So who do you think knows more of Jesus Christ? The disciples that lived and talked to Jesus or Muhammad 600 years down the line? Do you think so? No, no. Do you think so? No, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me ask the question. No, I need like you to answer my question. I need to answer. I need you to answer. I need you to answer. Yeah, I need to answer this question first. Who do you think knows more about Jesus? The people that ate with Jesus or somebody that lived 600 years after Jesus? No, God knows better. Because the book of If God knows better, then we don't need Muhammad. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 because... Listen, what, whatever comes to Muhammad, you know, love is from God. this okay, why was the need of Muhammad because if there was Moses, no need for Muhammad Adam, because everyone was after after them there was, Listen, there was no need for Muhammad because Jesus was from the dead <laughs> hallelujah praise the Lord has a need. The need is life. Jesus came, died on that cross, rose from the dead and he proved that he was the prince of life. Anyway, so Adam is moved away from the love of God, is rebelled against the love of God. By that rebellion, sin came into the world and sin brought with it spiritual death. Spiritual death also came with a twin, physical death. So this is how people, and this is how people die. resurrection of Jesus Christ is God's answer to all of the ills of humanity. The resurrection of Jesus. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is God's answer to a broken and a fallen humanity. The resurrection of Jesus. testimony of Jesus Christ that we go with is from the apostles who walked and talked with Jesus. And the reason I say this is because I've just had a lady come up to me and suggest that I should read the Quran. says to me you need to go and read the Quran that's what she said now no disrespect but if you want to know who I am come talk to my brothers my sister my mother don't wait 
until 600 years down the line to try find out who I be. Because I know for a fact that the Quran was, was 600 years after Jesus. And I'm saying this because a lady came up to me and basically told me I have to read the Quran. And I said, no, I don't have to. Because the resurrection of Jesus Christ did what I want, what we needed it to do. The resurrection of Christ. The human problem is a problem of life. Eternal life. So when Jesus came and rose from the dead, that solved it. When Jesus came and rose from the dead, that sorted the question of life. And that settled it. After the resurrection of Jesus, you don't need anybody else. What I need in my life, what I need is life. That's what I need. And I need eternal life. So I'm not going to put my faith in a man who failed to rise from the dead. I'm not going to do that. I need eternal life. I need life. That's why I believe in Jesus. Because Jesus rose from the dead to prove that he has eternal life. So I'm not going to put my faith in anybody else except the man who rose from the dead. That's what I'm going to do. Jesus over and over claimed that he was the son of God. The people that walked and talked with him said that Jesus claimed to be the son of God. So, their witness is reliable because they walked and talked with Jesus. So their witness is reliable. Because they walked and talked with Jesus. Not somebody 600 years down the line. No. If I want to know about you, I can ask your father, your mother, your daddy, your family, the people that know you, the people that live with you, the people that break bread with you, the people that cry with you, the people that laugh with you. Those are the people I can come and ask about you. Not somebody 600 years down the line. I will find problems with that witness. That in itself for anybody who's honest, for anybody who um, wants to know the truth. The truth is that the people that walked and talked with Jesus said that Jesus claimed to be the Son of God. And Jesus is the one who rose from the dead. So I go with Jesus any time of the day. I go with Jesus. I go with Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the one who is risen from the dead. Nobody else except Jesus Christ.
if you were to take this to a court of law and they are bringing up witnesses who do you think the jury is going to believe when it comes to the things that this man said and did jury is going to believe this, an opinion that was made by a man 600 years after Jesus or do you think that the jury is going to go with the apostles that walked and talked and ate with Jesus <laughs> you see the Bible right was written by people and the gospels were written by the people that walked and talked to Jesus their records are accurate they're accurate accurate they're accurate For example, with all respect, um, let's take for example, let's say Prince Philip. Whatever you want to believe about Prince Philip is okay. That's your opinion. But if we were to go to Her Royal Majesty, she will tell you. you need to know about the man so the apostles walked and talked with Jesus they will tell you all you need to know about Jesus Christ not some man 600 years down the line if we take this to the court of law if you were to take this to the court of law and they are looking for witnesses on one hand you have the people that ate and talked with Jesus Christ on the other hand you have a man who has his own opinion 600 years down the line who do you think the jury is gonna go with there you have it there you have it there you have it came and Jesus himself said I am the way the truth and the life no one goes to the father except by me so Jesus is right there was telling you that eternal life is only found in him because it's only Jesus Christ who rose from the dead nobody else is ever risen from the dead nobody else has ever demonstrated the power of um, the power over the grave no one else except Jesus no one else except Jesus Christ we can put the Bible to one side we can go into secular history and you still hear them talking about Jesus Christ you still hear them talking about the resurrection of Jesus. We still hear them talking about how Jesus claimed to be the Son of God in your secular history. So, every time we say that Jesus is the Son of God, and you're quick to say, no, he wasn't the Son of God, you didn't walk and talk with Jesus. You're 2,000 years later. The people that walked and talked with Jesus Christ. <laughs> the people that walked and talked to Jesus Christ. They themselves say that Jesus Christ claimed that he is the son of God. 
So if you were to take this to the courts of law, do you honestly think they're going to believe somebody 600 years down the line? Obviously not. They want witnesses who walked and talked with Jesus because their witnesses, their witness is more reliable. The reason why I would believe in Jesus Christ is because I need life. And I need life in abundance. That's why I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus Christ because he is the one who has eternal life. And I know that it's only Jesus Christ who has eternal life because it's only Jesus Christ who has risen from the dead. Only Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. When Jesus came, when Jesus Christ came, he came to reconcile humanity back to God. He came to pay for the sin of humanity. He came to make right what went wrong in the Garden of Eden. He came to address the guilt of sin. He came to address this rift between man and God. He came to um, play the peacemaker. And everyone who's not been to the cross of Jesus Christ, they know they're not right with God. Every single one. Anybody who's never been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, they know they need to get right with God. Your conscience will continue to pester you until you come to the cross of Jesus Christ. Your conscience will continue to let you know that you're not right with God until you come to the cross of Jesus Christ. Humanity stands guilty before God because all of humanity was in Adam when Adam decided to rebel against the love of God. When Adam decided to sin against God, all of humanity was in Adam. So the spiritual death that comes with sin was extended to the entire human race because of the sin of Adam. The guilt of sin that was extended to Adam because of sin was extended to the entire, to the rest of the human race. That's why Jesus came. Jesus Christ came, died on that cross, was buried for three days, and was risen from the dead. If you're looking, because I know people have got this habit of um, saying, I am looking for a sign. If God is real, I want a sign. If God is real, he's got to show me a sign. You know, if you're looking for a sign, the sign is the resurrection of Jesus. If you're looking for a sign, the sign is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. The Bibles are free if you want to grab one. The Bibles are free. You already have all right. That's good. okay. That's good. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. The sign you're looking for, they're free. They're free. They're free. Get grab one. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I, I have also. Ever wanted God to give you a sign? 
Oh, that's all right. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. If you've ever wanted God to give you a sign, right? Like, you know what? If God is real, I want a sign. God, show me a sign. <laughs> Listen, the only sign that God has for you is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's the only sign. <laughs> Shalom, God bless you. That's the only sign. That's the only sign. Because I know that sometimes people like to say that and say, oh, if Jesus Christ, if God is real, I want to see a sign. You know? But this is what Jesus said. In the book of Matthew. Matthew walked and talked with Jesus. I'm not talking about somebody 600 years down the line. I'm talking about somebody that walked and talked with Jesus. Matthew in his writing I will bring it up just now says that they came to Jesus people come to Jesus for all kinds of reasons so I'm gonna go to Matthew chapter 12 and in and in Matthew chapter 12 you know certain religious leaders come to Jesus and they say Jesus um, master we want to see a sign from you you know how can we be sure that you're the way you know what sign do you give us that we might believe you know the Bible says that and Jesus answered and said unto them an evil and an adulterous generation seek after a sign and they shall no sign be given to it but the sign of Jonah the prophet you know Jonah the prophet the one in the belly of the fish yeah for 